Good morning students. This is lecture number 38 on the topic of game theory and in this lecture we will study those games which have mixed strategies. So, in this lecture we will look at the following three cases. In the first case we have a 2 by 2 game and we will use the oddments method to solve this 2 by 2 game. The second case uh, is a 2 by n rectangular game and we will use the graphical method to solve this case. And similarly, the third case is the m by 2 rectangular game and we will use the graphical method to solve this case. So, first of all let us look at the case 1 which is the simplest case where we have a 2 by 2 game. Now, since these are mixed strategy games, so therefore, these games do not have a saddle point. Now, first let us look at the payoff matrix. So, there are two players, player A and player B and these are the strategies of the both the players A11, A12, A21, A22. Then the probabilities for the optimum strategies can be obtained using these formulas. Uh, if we say that P1 and uh, P2 are corresponding to the uh, first strategy of player A and Q1 and Q2 are the uh, strategies of player A corresponding to the second strategy. These are the probabilities for the optimum strategies. Now, these are the formulas that is uh, P 1 is given by A 2 2 minus A 2 1 divided by A 1 1 plus A 2 2 minus A 1 2 plus A 2 1 and since uh, the sum of P 1 and P 2 is equal to 1. So, therefore, we can say that P 2 can be obtained using 1 minus P 1. Similarly, for the second strategy uh, the q 1 can be obtained using the formula a 2 2 minus a 1 2 divided by a 1 1 plus a 2 2 minus a 1 2 plus a 2 1 and again using the same logic that q 1 plus q 2 is equal to 1 we can obtain q 2 is equal to 1 minus q 1. Also, we can uh, derive the value of the game using the formula V is equal to A11 times A22 minus A21 times A12 whole divided by A11 plus A22 minus A12 plus A21. Now, it might be difficult to remember these formulas and also we would like to understand how these formulas are derived. So, let us take a simple example. In this example we have a 2 by 2 uh, game where there are 2 players and their payoff matrix is given by 1, 3, 10 and 2. Now, as you know that this um, uh, if you look at the row minimum and its maximum and then the column maximum and its minimum. We find that max min is 2 and min max is 3 which are not equal. So, there is no saddle point. So, I hope all everybody knows how to determine the, uh, the min max and the max min. <coughs> now, since uh, this uh, uh, game does not have a saddle point, so we can use the mixed strategies like this. Now, look at the payoff matrix. Uh, along with the payoff matrix, I have shown the oddments. Now, this is the method that we want to learn. So, if you look at the first strategy corresponding to the player A, uh, we find that there are uh, two uh, columns for B that is 1 and 3. Now, we will find out the oddments by finding the difference between 3 and 1 and that is why this shows that in the first 
corresponding to the first row we have 3 minus 1 which is equal to 2. Now, this odd man has to be created by subtracting the smaller one from the larger one no matter which one is smaller or which one is larger always the odd mans have to be calculated using uh, the larger minus the smaller quantity. So, in this case 3 is larger. So, therefore, 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 and it has to be written in the other column not on the same same row it has to be written on the different row. Then comes 10 and 2 now 10 is large. So, 10 minus 2 and this entry has to be written in the first row and that comes out to be 8. So, these are the two odd mans corresponding to the strategies of the player A. Now, the same thing has to be done for the columns and as you can see uh, 10 minus 1 is 9. So, this is again in the other uh, column. So, this is 9 and similarly 3 minus 2 has to be written in the other column. So, this is 1. So, what we have done is we have just calculated the values of the oddments. Next, we need to calculate the probabilities. So, for calculating the probabilities, the formula that has to be used is 8 divided by 8 plus 2. Where did this 8 plus 2 come from? This 8 and this 2. So, 8 divided by 8 plus 2 which gives you 4 by 5. So, this 4 by 5 is the probability corresponding to the first strategy of the player A. And similarly, we can calculate the probability corresponding to the second strategy of the player A. This is calculated by 2 divided by 8 plus 2 and this comes out to be 1 upon 5. In the same way, we will calculate for the columns and uh, for the first one it is 1 upon 1 plus 9 which is equal to 1 upon 10 and similarly for the second one it is 9 upon 1 plus 9 which is equal to 9 by 10. So, therefore, uh, the player A has the strategies 4 by 5 and 1 by 5 this is coming from these values and similarly for the player B 1 by 10 and 9 by 10. And the value of the game is obtained by 1 multiplied by 8. Where did this 1 multiplied by 8 come from? This is 1 multiplied by this 8 plus 10 multiplied by 2. This is the numerator and the bottom denominator is 8 plus 2. So, this is 8 plus 2 and you get the value of the game as 28 by 10. It can also be verified that if you do the same thing vertically, you will get the same answer. Uh, as I said, uh, using the formulas that I had given in the beginning, uh, we can also calculate the probabilities using those formulas and it is given by P 1 is equal to 2 minus 10 divided by 1 plus 2 minus 10 plus 3 which gives you 4 by 5 and P 2 is equal to 1 upon 4 5 because P 2 is equal to 1 minus P 1. And uh, similarly, we can calculate Q 1 as uh, 2 minus 3 divided by 1 plus 2 minus 10 plus 3 which is equal to 1 by 10 and Q 2 is equal to 1 minus Q 1 which is equal to 9 by 10. And the value of the game can be determined by the formula a 1 1 a 2 2 minus a 2 1 a 1 2 divided by a 1 1 plus a 2 2 minus a 1 2 plus a 2 1 which gives you 28 by 10. So, that is the way to solve a 2 by 2 game which is does not have a saddle point. Now, let us look at the second and the third cases where the second case is a 2 by n rectangular game. Uh, it consists of two rows and n columns and similarly the case 3 that is m by 2 rectangular game which has m rows and 2 columns. 
both these cases can be solved using the graphical method. So, let us look at the case 2 uh, which is a 2 by 4 rectangular game. Uh, this is an example of two players let us say P 1 and P 2 and P 1 has two strategies 1 and 2 and P 2 has four strategies 1, 2, 3, 4 and the payoff matrix is given by 19, 15, 17, 16, 0, 20, 15 and 0. Now, let us first check whether there is a saddle point or not and as you can see that uh, in the last row I have mentioned the row minimum. So, in the first row corresponding to the first strategy we find that the minimum value amongst 19, 15, 17 and 16 is 15 and similarly in the second row the minimum amongst 0, 20, 15, 5 is 0. And since we want the maximum of these minimum values, so this 15 is the maximum. Then comes the columns. Uh, amongst the columns, we have to first choose the maximum entry. So, in the first column that is for j is equal to 1, we have 19 and 0. So, the maximum is 19 and similarly in the second column we have 15 and 20. So, maximum is 20. In the third column we have 17 and 15 which gives us 17 as the maximum and uh, in the fourth column we have the 16 and 5 and maximum is 16. Now, amongst this 19, 20, 17 and 16 we find 16 is the one which is the uh, minimum of these values. So, this is the min max and obviously, you can see that 15 is not equal to 16. So, uh, there is no saddle point in this game and therefore, we can use the mixed strategies. So, there is no saddle point and we can use the mixed strategies. Now, the second step in this method is to uh, see if it is possible to reduce the size of the payoff matrix using the principle of dominance which we studied in the previous uh, lecture. Uh, usually uh, it is easier to apply the principle of dominance to reduce the matrix so that the calculations are reduced, but in general this step is optional uh, because as I told you in the uh, lecture on uh, dominance, uh, the solution to the original matrix and the matrix after applying the principle of dominance uh, remains the same. So, now let us look at step number 3. Uh, this step tells us that we have to define the probabilities of selection of the various strategies of the first player P1. So, what we will do is we will assume that x be the probability that the player p 1 will select the first strategy number 1. Then since their sum is equal to 1 we can say that 1 minus x is the probability that the player p 1 will select strategy 2. Then we can define the expected gain function for the player P 1 with respect to each of the strategy of the player 2. So, this can be uh, found out as follows uh, in here in the last column we are assuming that the probability of the strategies of the player P 1 are x and 1 minus x. So, now let us calculate the expected payoff function and the gain of the player P 1. Now, in the first column we have the strategies of the player P 2 and remember that the P 2 has the player P 2 has 4 strategies 1, 2, 3, 4 and the expected payoff function of the player P 1 can be written like this 
19 x plus 0 times 1 minus x which comes out to be 19 x. Now, how did this come uh, the expected payoff function of p 1? Let us go back to this table and we find if this is x is the uh, probability corresponding to the first strategy 1 minus x is corresponding to the second strategy. So, we will multiply 19 x first one I will do for you 19 x plus 0 times 1 minus x and that is what is shown here in the uh, first uh, row of the expected payoff function of the p 1. And similarly, we will do for the other uh, cases also. So, this one will be 15 x plus 20 times 1 minus x and that is what is written here 15 x plus 20 minus times 1 minus x. This comes out to be 20 minus 5 x when you simplify it. And like that the third one is uh, 17 x plus 15 times 1 minus x 17 x plus 15 times 1 minus x which gives us 15 plus 2 x and finally, the fourth one says 16 x plus 5 times 1 minus x uh, and this uh, simplifies to 5 plus 11 x. Now, since this x is a probability and the value of the probability uh, varies from 0 to 1 and this x it represents the probability it, uh, this represents the expected gain of p 1. Therefore, the lower and upper range of x that is x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1 can be calculated. So, in this 19 x if you substitute x is equal to 0 you get 0 and if you substitute x is equal to 1 you get 1. So, this tells us that uh, the value of uh, this expected function a uh, payoff function will vary from 0 to 19. And like this for the other uh, strategies strategy number 2, 3 and 4. So, what does it tell us? This tells us that we can plot these lines uh, on the two dimensional uh, graph and uh, that is what we have to uh, do. So, in the step number 4 we will plot the x value uh, against the expected value on a graph. So, for strategy 1 of the player 2 we will denote the expected function let us say we will call it as x comma alpha 1 which is 15, 19 x and similarly for strategy 2 of the player p 2 uh, expected value of x uh, comma alpha 2 it is 20 minus 5 x and like this for uh, the strategy 3 and strategy 4 also. Now, we will plot this uh, on the two dimensional graph uh, like this. Now, you find that this x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1. Uh, see the the value of uh, this this value is actually uh, on the x axis you have x and on the y axis you have expected value. So, this first value corresponds to 0 0 and the second value corresponds to 1 comma 19. So, this is 1 comma 19 and this is what is been shown here in this graph. So, this is x is equal to 0 at 0 it is 0 and at 1 it is 19. So, this is the 1 and 19 and like this we can join these two points to construct a straight line. Uh, this is corresponding to the first one and similarly uh, for the second one I have drawn it here and similarly the third one and the fourth one. So, now we have uh, got some lines these four lines representing the expected uh, function and uh, we have to find out 
uh, the the point which gives us the uh, maximum. See this all these are minimum at each point for example, let us say at this point this one is the minimum right. Similarly, at this point this is the minimum. So, the red line that has been drawn here that is A, B, C and D. This is actually this area should be shaded this is the minimum and out of this minimum we have to select that point which gives us the max because remember we are interested in the max min. So, what do we find that the point given by C is the max min. These four lines represents the four expected payoffs of the player P 1 and the line O B C D which is shown in red color gives the least expectation for any value of x between the interval 0 is less than x is less than 1 and in fact including the two points 0 and 1 as well. So, P 1 must choose x so as to maximize his least expectation. So, maximize his least expectation corresponds to the max min point and that is the reason why we are looking for C as the max min point. So, C gives us the max min point. So, if P, P 1 uh, chooses an x which corresponds to the max min points he will gain the maximum. So, let us look at this point and the corresponding expected value. And this is obtained uh, in the step number 5 determine the max min point that is find the highest point of intersection of all these lines. So, C is the point where the least expectation is maximum and it is the intersection of these two lines line number 2 and line number 4. So, the expected value corresponding to the second line that is E x alpha 2 is equal to 20 minus 5 x and similarly uh, the line corresponding to the fourth line that is expected value of x comma alpha 4 is equal to 5 plus 11 x and if you solve these two equations and you equate them because at the point of intersection uh, they, these uh, equations should be equated. So, you get x is equal to 15 by 16. So, the, this means that the optimum strategy of the player P 1 should be 15 by 16 and 1 by 16. So, as you know 1 by 16 has been obtained by uh, subtracting from 1 uh, because both these some of these strategies should be equal to 1 their summation should be equal to 1. So, since we have got x is equal to 15 by 16 1 minus x will be uh, 1 minus 15 by 16 which is equal to 1 by 16. And also uh, it is uh, I mean you could have done it the other way also uh, by uh, doing the other uh, stuff also, but the value of the game v can be obtained as x naught comma alpha 2 or x naught comma alpha 4. See this this x naught is the point of intersection of the second and the fourth line. So, we can substitute this value into any of the two equations equation number 2 or equation number 4 and the value of the game that we will get is uh, 245 upon 16. In other words the original payoff matrix is now reduced to the following 2 by 2 game with the payoff matrix given by 15, 16, 25. See the strategies of P 2 
are 2 and 4. So, corresponding to uh, 1 and the 3 uh, this is 0. So, you therefore, you have reduced the original 2 by 4 matrix to the 2 by 2 matrix. And uh, as I have just mentioned uh, this uh, 2 by 2 matrix can be solved using the uh, oddments uh, method. So, to find the optimum strategies of P 2 the expected loss of P 2 is given by expected value of beta 2 comma y which is equal to 15 y plus 16 times 1 minus y. Uh, this happens because uh, if the player P 2 selects the strategy 2 and uh, also the expected value of beta 4 comma y is equal to uh, 20 y plus 5 times 1 minus y and this happens if the player P 2 selects the strategy 4. Now, this time we will plot the expected value against y in the domain 0 is less than equal to y is less than or equal to 1. See we are doing this to find out the optimum strategies of the player P 2 because till now we have found out only the optimum strategies of P 1. So, this is the graph which represents the value of y. So, this is uh, y is equal to 0 and this is y is equal to 1 and on the y axis we have the expected values. So, therefore, we will plot both these lines uh, and uh, as you know that since we are now looking at the strategies of the player P 2. So, therefore, uh, we are now interested in the min max point and it happens that the min max point is given by B. So, the line A B C represents the maximum payoff to P 1 for any value of y. So, therefore, P 2 must choose y so as to minimize his payoff and this happens at the point B for which the expected value of beta 2 y is equal to expected value of beta 2 y beta 4 y. In other words 16 minus y is equal to 5 plus 15 y and when you uh, solve this you get y is equal to 11 by 16 and 1 minus y is equal to 5 by 16. Therefore, we conclude that the optimum strategies of the player P 2 which is given by y 0 is equal to 11 by 16 and 5 by 16. It can also be verified that the value of the game is 245 by 16. Now, you will observe uh, that the expected value of the game is the same for the player uh, P 1 as well as the player P 2. This is not a coincidence uh, there is a theory behind it and uh, later on we will see uh, why this happens. Now, let us look at the third case that is the case where uh, m by 2 rectangular games are given. So, here we have uh, two players A and B and the strategies of the player A are A 1, A 2 up to A 6 and the strategies of the player B are B 1, B 2 and we have to solve this and very easily you can see that um, the max min uh, and the min max uh, is uh, shown here and you can see that the min max uh, is uh, sorry the max min is uh, 3 and the min max is 4 and they are both different. So, therefore, this game has uh, does not have a saddle point and we can use the mixed strategies to solve it. So, if the probability of the player P playing the strategy B 1 and B 2 is given by y and 1 minus y then the expected payoff to the player B will be like this. So, exactly in the same way in the, uh, in the same way which we did for the case 2 uh, this time we will do for the player B because there are only two strategies where the player B 
uh, has to uh, play. So, the corresponding to uh, the two strategies of the player B, we will say that uh, we will assume that the probabilities are y and 1 minus y and accordingly the corresponding strategies of the player A can be obtained using the formula uh, y minus 3 times 1 minus y and similarly uh, 3 y plus 5 minus 5 times 1 minus y and like this. So, you can correlate uh, it is uh, quite similar to the case 2 only thing is now instead of x we are using y because we are now finding out the probabilities corresponding to the player b. So, let us now use the horizontal axis to represent the probability of the player b uh, playing the strategy b 1 that is 1 minus y and the vertical axis uh, will represent the expected payoff of the player b. So, first of all let a play a strategy a 1 and corresponding to the uh, uh, strategy a 1 of the player a uh, if b plays the strategy b 1 then the expected payoff of b is 1 with 1 minus y is equal to 1 or in other words y is equal to 0 and when b plays the strategy b 3 the expected payoff of b is minus 3 with 1 minus y is equal to 0 that is y is equal to 1. Uh, I am sorry there is a slight correction this should be b 2. Okay. So, the line, line joining these two points should represent the expected payoff to b when the player a plays the strategy a 1. So, it is exactly in the same lines as we have done in the case number 2. So, in this table uh, the first column shows the strategies of the player a that is a 1, a 2 up to a 6. In the second column is the expected payoff of the second player b which we have just not obtained y minus 3 times 1 minus y etcetera and the third column shows the expected loss of b when 1 minus y is equal to 1 or y is equal to 0 and similarly when 1 minus y is equal to 0 that is y is equal to 1. This can be obtained by substituting the value of y is equal to 0 and y is equal to 1 into the expected payoff of the player b just as we had shown in the uh, previous case. Next we will draw all these lines uh, onto the graph. Uh, let me just uh, first of all for 0 uh, the expected value is minus 3. So, we have the point 0 comma minus 3 and the second point is 1 comma 1. So, let us see how this this is shown here 0 comma minus 3. So, 0 comma minus 3 and 1 comma 1. So, this is 0 comma minus 3 and this is 1 comma 1. So, 0 comma minus 3 and 1 comma 1. So, these are the two points that have to be joined to get our first line. So, 0 comma minus 3 and 1 comma 1 and similarly uh, we will draw the other uh, lines also. So, that is 0 comma 5 and 1 comma 3 and like this the other lines. So, all these lines we can draw on the two dimensional graph. And as before, uh, now we need the min max point. So, this is the min max points. And this min max point, as you can see, has been obtained, and this is our 
solution. And the player A will always play his best strategy giving the worst result to the player B because remember our maximizing player is the player A. So, therefore, the payoff or the losses to the player B are represented by the upper boundary when he is faced with the most unfavorable situation in the game. And according to the min max criteria, the player B will always play a combination of strategies B1 and B2 so that the he minimizes his losses. So, therefore, the optimum occurs at the intersection of E 2 and E 4. So, E 2 is given by 3 y plus 5 times 1 minus y and E 4 is given by 4 y plus 1 minus y and therefore, the game is now reduced to a 2 by 2 game where we have only uh, 2 strategies corresponding to the player B that is B 2 and B 4. Again in order to uh, get the uh, strategies for the other player. So, we can now write down the uh, augments corresponding to A 1 and A 2 strategies. So, again 4 minus 1 should give me 3 and it has to be written into the first column and 3 minus 5 or rather 5 minus 3 uh, will uh, give me 2 and this has to be written in the alternate uh, rows. Same thing has to be written for the augments corresponding to 4 minus 3, 4 minus 3 is 1. So, it comes here and 5 minus 1 gives me 4. So, it comes to the other uh, column. And once we have calculated the uh, uh, augments, then we need to calculate the corresponding probabilities which is given by 3 upon 3 plus 2 which is 3 by 5 and 2 upon 3 plus 2 which is given by 2 by 5. So, we have got the probabilities 3 by 2 and 2 by 5 uh, and similarly for the columns we can get the probabilities as 4 upon 4 plus 1 which is given by 4 by 5 and 1 upon 4 plus 1 which is given by 1 by 5. So, this means that the player A has the strategies 0, 3 by 5, 0, 2 by 5, 0 and 0. Uh, why is that so? This is so uh, because uh, remember that the player A had 6 strategies okay, and only 2 and 4 are surviving, 2 is surviving and 4 is surviving rest of them are 0. So, therefore, when we write the final strategies of the player A, then we have to write 0 corresponding to the first one, corresponding to the third one and similarly corresponding to the fifth one and the sixth one. That is why uh, the player A strategies are given by 0, 3 by 5, 0, 2 by 5, 0 and 0. And similarly, uh, for the player B, we have the strategies uh, 4 by 5 and 1 by 5. Uh, these are obtained in this uh, row. Also, we can calculate the value of the game by using the formula for the augments method which is given by 3 multiplied by 3 plus 4 multiplied by 2 divided by 3 plus 2 which gives me 17 by 5 and that is the value of the game. So, this uh, we uh, brings us to the end of this uh, lecture uh, on uh, games without saddle point. Thank you.